hemlock lily adelgid is an invasive insect here in eastern North America. Um, it's a really tiny insect that attacks hemlock trees. It attaches to the base of hemlock needles and then it inserts its piercing sucking mouth parts into the plant tissue and feeds on plant sap. And this causes needle loss, branch dieback, and then eventually tree mortality. So unfortunately, we are seeing the death of a lot of hemlock trees here in Eastern North America. The biological control that's available for the hemlock woolly adelgid, there's a few different species, but what we did today is we released Laracobius osakensis beetles. Um, and this is a really effective form of biocontrol because these are actually native to Japan, which is where the hemlock woolly adelgid originated from as well. So in Japan, these beetles help regulate the adelgid population so that they don't cause too much hemlock mortality. Um, and so we're trying to establish them here at First Mountain State Forest to keep the adelgid population in check here and help save the hemlocks here in the state forest. And so these beetles will actually feed on the hemlock woolly adelgid and then they'll lay eggs inside the ova sac um, where the adelgid lives. And then when the adelgid lays eggs of its own, the beetle larvae will hatch and feed on those eggs as well. So if you have hemlock trees on your property, um, the first thing I would suggest doing is just monitoring the trees for signs of decline. So look for needle loss, look for a branch dieback, and also monitor the tree for the hemlock woolly adelgid. It's a tiny little insect, but it does secrete a white woolly ova sac around its body that looks like small little white cotton balls on the undersides of the hemlock branch. So if you can reach branches on the hemlock tree, look for those hemlock woolly adelgids to see if your tree is infested. Um, if it is infested, there is the, the potential that you could apply pesticides to help protect the tree. And so I would reach out to your Department of Forestry forester, your local area forester, or your Virginia Cooperative Extension agent for more information on different control measures.